Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. So today we have finally gotten in our Ipsy Glam Bag X and Refreshments apparently box. Now I peeked inside this box and thank God that I did because I am really rather confused on what we are getting in here. Nonetheless, I thought, let me open this up and show it to you guys. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know, I, I do get Ip Ipsy Mystery Glam Bags and I've had like zero problem with those. Like those have usually been really good. But when it comes to Ipsy's like core business, like their glam bags, what is happening here? Like once they sent me like a welcome bag that I was that like didn't fit my profile and they try to make it seem like it did. And then they just told me it was a welcome bag that they never disclosed to me and like just violated FTC rules on that. I've been waiting for this Glam Bag X that they shipped out in June. So yeah, and then we got this in and I'm like, what, what is going on here? And the same thing with my June Glam Bag, like it doesn't even fit my profile. So we're just gonna have some fun with this one today because it's Ipsy, you know? You just gotta kind of like laugh at Ipsy. They do certain things well and other things not so well. So the first thing that we're pulling out is this Ipsy Glam Bag X newspaper and it says your invitation to glam with Khloe Kardashian, okie dokie. Now I'll go through the items that I chose first and then I'll show you guys what they chose for me and have you guys tell me what you think. Now, the, one of the items that I chose was actually the vanity case and it kind of came in looking like it's seen better days, but I can understand that, you know, it was definitely traveling. I do like this vanity case. I hope this is one of those items where I would have hoped that they would have given it to people for free because it's Ipsy. They always give you a makeup bag, but I did like this item. I did kind of have some FOMO that I didn't select the Ricky Loves Ricky mirror. At first I was like, you don't need that. You don't need that item. And then I saw like Connor Kristen talking about how she planned on using it when she went traveling and like her SO or her friends were in the bathroom, then she could use that outside and in, in, in the hotel room. And I was like, that's a fabulous idea. Why didn't I think of that? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about it. So I ended up getting this vanity case, which actually will get a ton of use for me because I do really like these vanity cases. I love the color. I like these rose gold zippers. I love the inside of the vanity case. I thought it was beautiful and cute. This is definitely an item that will get a significant amount of use. I was hoping that it would have been a bit more structured because it seems like more loose. Like it's definitely not as structured as the vanity case that I got from Curator, but like I said, it will 100% get usage from me and I do like it. So thank you, Ipsy, I do think that's cute. Okay, the next item that I chose was the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C Plus Turmeric Facial Oil. Now there were definitely a few items in this category that I thought were good, but overall, the reason that this stuck out to me, I think another item was like um, a mask and I almost ended up getting that mask and I like looked at it, but I had so many of them that I was like, okay, you have too many masks. You don't use that frequently enough. And this seemed like a product that I would definitely get through. I mean, it has the vitamin C and the turmeric facial oil. Now I have gotten a ton of vitamin C recently. I'm like stocked up on vitamin C to the gills. It's gotten to the point where like, I will even put vitamin C on my arms and just to like use it because it degrades pretty quickly. So this is one of those products that you want to use up as quickly as possible when you get it. So I've got enough vitamin C to last me for a little while and I will be using this as quickly as I possibly can. But Sunday Rally is a good brand and this product is a very, very good product. So I was happy to get this. It's quite expensive as Sephora. I forget how much it is, but I think it's like around 50 or 60 bucks. I will let you know and link it. So this was one of my choice items. I'm very, very happy to have that. And the other choice item was the Kristoff Robin scalp scrub now i love this stuff to get this gigantic size in this box was like a hundred percent worth it for me i mean this was like the best thing ever i was also hoping to get the olaplex product but unfortunately this category actually had you could pick the olaplex zero uh, number zero product or this product and this is just a product that i'm like in love with so i was like okay i have to get this product because i know how much i love this product and how much i use it and I actually already have like Olaplex one and two that I occasionally use. So I was like, okay, 
fine, Ipsy, I will pick the one and it'll be this one. And I think this like retails for $78 and I'm ecstatic to have a full size. I love this product. Next item that was picked out for us was the Tower 28 Shine On Milky Lip Gel. I'm really excited for this product. I actually love Tower 28 products. I love their lip oils. I have some of them. So I was ecstatic to get this milky lip jelly. Now it says here that we were supposed to get coconut <laughs> and instead we got cashew. So cashew doesn't exactly fit me because it's like a brown shade. Coconut, that color would be a much nicer color on my skin tone. This I don't know. Sometimes these tend to wash me out, these sorts of like lighter brown colors. So I'm just going to leave this in the packaging because maybe um, Ipsy will send me a replacement. I'll have to send this one back. Then the next product that we're getting in here is by Ula Hendrickson. It's the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Now this one has definitely seen some better days, this packaging. Like it's definitely super beat up. Um, and it's, it's a tiny jar, but I am happy to get this. This does fit my profile. Um, Ula Hendrickson products I kind of, you know, stay clear because oh, he puts a lot of fragrance in his products. This one is a vitamin C product. It's a brightening product. I don't know I, if I saw any fragrance on here. Let me just take a quick peek. Oh, it does say aroma flavor. Oh, I don't know why there are any flavorants in here. That is kind of, kind of bizarre. But maybe instead of saying, um, and they have fruit extracts, which can act as perfumes more so than, you know, provide any sort of additional benefit. So yeah, like I'm not, I'm not, I wish that he didn't add that stuff in there because it is perfume into his products. I know Ula Hendrickson products are beloved by a lot of people. So I am excited to try this out. Now with eye creams, just like with face creams, you don't have to use things just for one specific part of your body. So if you want to try something out for a face cream, you can most certainly do that. And I may end up doing that with this product. Like I'm not mad to get it because at least this way I get to try it. And I probably wouldn't have spent my money on it in another regard. So it's not bad. So I am kind of happy to get this product and it does fit my profile. The next product that we are getting that we're pulling out is by Kosas. This is the Volumizing Plus Matte Lash Care Mascara. So this has beeswax, castor oil. So it seems to have some like oils in here to help um, protect your lashes. Beautiful packaging. I mean, do you hear this? ASMR for the video. Yay. Okay. So beautiful packaging. Very excited to get this. I think Kosas is a clean brand. Yeah, big clean. So I'm excited to try this. The next product that we got is one that everyone got. It's by 111 Skin or or 111 Skin. I don't know how it's pronounced, like 111 Skin. You know, you guys tell me. It's the Rose Gold Radiance Booster. I do think this bottle looks beautiful. I don't understand why these are so expensive. Like these are over $100. And I'm like, why? Like, what is this doing? It's a, it's an illuminator. So it seems like, like this is something you would use with makeup. Use one to two, two drops on, on your palm with your favorite morning moisturizer. I mean, okay, I will try this out. It seems like a good product. It's got rose in here. Oh, and it has additional perfume, but the fragrance is all the way at the bottom of the ingredients list. Oh, it has gold in here and silver. That can cause acne and be irritating on the skin. It hasn't really done that for me, so I will at least give this a go. I will try this out and see how it works. And the last product that we got in here, folks, I know you're wondering about it and if I got it. And the answer is yes, we have gotten the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Now it pops out beautifully like this packaging. Look at this. It is very nice. Okay, it's a nice cream. It has a lot of fragrance, like you can smell. I don't want to open it because it starts the product degradation process. The packaging is gorgeous. This has a very fragrant smell. It is a nice lotion. I, I won't deny that. It's just, it's got a lot of fragrance. So be prepared when you smell something like this. I am happy to get this. Um, it fits my profile very, very well. I was very nervous that I would end up with one of the eyeshadows and I was kind of like, oh, I hope not because I just, I just don't wear that much eyeshadow. Um, I did think that the Patrick Star one size palette was like beautiful though. When I saw people unboxing it, I was like, wow, okay, that one is pretty gorgeous. But okay, I can smell the fragrance already. It is nice. I am totally happy to get this. It does fit my profile. I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy. Overall, I, I'm happy that we get this. 
the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, yeah, Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. Like the two Magic Creams I tried were both like sample size products. I didn't see much of a difference, but you know, maybe it's because I wasn't using it enough and I probably needed to use it for a little bit longer. So we're happy to be giving this a go. It's 1.6 fluid ounces. So yeah, so this is what we've gotten in the Glam Bag X, the Charlotte Tilbury Cream, which we are definitely happy to get. The 111 Skin or 1111 Skin, you tell me how this is pronounced, the Radiance Booster, which I think everyone got. The Kosas Volumizing Plus Lash Care Mascara, which I actually am very excited to try it. I think that this is a very nice. The Lula Hendrickson product, which yeah, like I'm, I'm actually happy to try this out because I probably wouldn't have gotten it on its own. And I am very curious about Lula Hendrickson products. They they do get a lot of really great reviews. The Tower 28 Milky Jelly, which I just wish it was in the different color, but I do love Tower 28 products. This fits me very well. I am very curious about these Milky Jelly products. And then the products we picked out, the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub, which I absolutely love and like I'm so excited to have another one of. The Sunday Riley CEO Glow with Vitamin C and Turmeric Facial Oil. And then the vanity case, which will hold everything beautifully and together. So very, very excited for that. Now we also got some add-ons and you guys know I'm like going like crazy trying to fix my hair. So one of them was this r Co teacup. So this is Picholin and Kombucha Detox Rinse. I hope that this is kind of similar to the uh, apple cider vinegar rinse that I've tried before. Uh, I think this was around $12 in add-ons and I was just very curious. I really do like r Co products. I use the TV shampoo and conditioner. It works so well. And God, their products smell so good. Oh, just bathe me in them. This literally smells like the, the TV shampoo and conditioner. So I do love their products. So when I saw this available for 12 bucks, it was like a no brainer. I really wanted to give this a try. We also got the Olaplex Hair Perfector. This was like a $3 add-on. And I love Olaplex, so if I get a chance to add this on for $3, I 100% most certainly will. Um, and I do use this, and this is 30 mils, one fluid ounce. So it's actually a pretty decent size. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And then we also got the Tula Skincare, the Instant Facial Skin Reviving Treatment Pad. So we were supposed to get two of these, and we only got one. Um, so then what Ipsy did was they gave me 600 points because they actually emailed me on their own and they said, Hey, you were supposed to get two of these treatment pads. They were, you know, $3 for the two of them. I, I'm just trying to try out more Tula products in general. I'm not as familiar with them, but everyone raves about Tula. So they gave me 600 points. So I was able to get a little add on product. So that was kind of nice of them to do. So it worked out. So I'm quite happy to get. Um, you know, one of these and then the 600 points. So that was no harm, no foul. Last add-on item were these $3 blemish patches from Hannah Ho. 36 patches for three bucks. I was like, yeah, because I think I just spent like $5 for 36 patches in the FabFitFun add-on sale. So I was like, not even remotely a problem. I will most certainly be buying these. But then the other stuff that came in this box, I'm like, what? So because I ended up rejoining Ipsy with the Glam Bag X, they told me that I would get a facial palette and I was like, okay, you know, and they said it would be this, this Violet Voss palette. And I asked, you know, oh, is there anything else? And they said, no, it has to be the Violet Voss palette. I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. Cause they ended up sending me this like weirdly used glam bag. Do you see like, like it's like frayed inside there's little marks. So I'm, I don't know what happened here. If they, if this was an accident that they added this in and they forgot about the palette. I mean, it is a nice looking you know, clamshell glam bag. It's just that it's like a used weird glam bag that I got in here. Like, I'm not sure what happened. And then also, I didn't realize this, but when you sign up and you re-sign up for Ipsy, you sign up for refreshments. And I checked my refreshments page and they were supposed to send me a razor. And that's what was taking so long. But then when I got my box, I got this deodorant. Now it's like, I'm not complaining because I'll use a deodorant, but like, what? Like who asked you for this? What if I don't like natural deodorants? Like I do, but like, wh where? what happened to the razor? Like, what is this stuff? So I'm not sure I know what's happening here. Like I said, I find Ipsy to be kind of funny. The ancillary business, they do really well. Like the mystery glam bags, never had a problem. They arrive really quickly. When I do my add-ons, never had a problem. It arrives really quickly. But then whoever is handling their core business, I'm like, what happened here? Like you sent me 
the wrong colored product. And like even my profile says that I'm supposed to get the color coconut. You sent me a weird used bag. Like it's a used bag. Like I could understand if it was new, but you sent me a, somebody's used bag. I'm not sure I understand what's happening here. No palette that was supposed to be sent to me. And this deodorant, which also looks like it's seen better days because it's like a little bit rough looking. Actually, I haven't checked if it was opened. It's not. But like, what what is this? Let me know your thoughts because that's what's important over here. You know, I kind of am getting a bit of a kick out of Ipsy, but now I also understand when I've seen other YouTubers get frustrated and they're like, I'm canceling Ipsy because this is like a little bit too much. Like, I get it. Like, they definitely have lots of problems in their business for sure. Hopefully they iron out these kinks because I do think that they provide benefit. I do think that they give you access to a lot of high quality brands. Like, you'd be getting access to this and this. Um, Sunday Riley, Kosa's like, these are really nice skincare brands to try out. Like I normally wouldn't have tried them. You get a lot of value. It's just, you know, they need to focus on the business side of things and like make sure that they're shipping things on time. Make sure that what they're putting in your box is what they told you that they're going to be putting in your box. You know, like all those little things they've kind of have to iron out. But guys, let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts. Um, you know, as you know, I do these videos because I am 100% trying to get better at public speaking. I'm not a natural at this and I'm trying to get better. Hopefully with each video, I'm progressively doing better and you guys are enjoying these videos more, you know, with each comment, like subscription, all those things, they mean so much to me. You have no idea. Um, it's just so incredibly encouraging and I appreciate your time. Every time you listen to the video all the way to the very end. It really it means a lot to me and I hope that you guys continue staying tuned and that you like this and you're having a great day or a great evening and yeah I hope to see you soon guys bye